watching Jump Twist TV. Today I'm going to show you some leap drills. We're going to get your leaps to look perfect so that the judges are seeing high amplitude, perfect split, even leg separation, and all that jazz. So let's get started. If you have ankle weights, put them on your feet. If you have any knee injuries, I don't advise using ankle weights. If not, then we're ready to go. So we're going to start. 10 splits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're ready. Now you can come over to a beam or a ballet bar if you have. You're going to start with your left leg in front, going high releve. Lightly hold the beam. You don't want to use it to kick. You want to use your legs to kick. So the left arm has to be back. Chin up, shoulders down, high releve, and you're gonna kick. One, two, three, turn face to B, to the side. One, you can swing it in front. Two, three, behind you. One, two, three, one, two, three, to the side. One, two, three, right leg up. One, two, to the end of the beam or a mat. Work on the ring kick. It's okay to drop your chest. You really want to make your hips square so you don't want your foot going to the side in your ring kick. So we're going to do 10. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're ready to do some leap drills. So you can take your ankle weights off and we're gonna get started on the drills. If you don't have one of these bars at home or in your gym or studio, you can do it on a mat. I'm gonna show you a modified version. This drill is really great to get your back leg up. As a judge and a coach, I see a lot of gymnasts who are struggling to get their back leg to the 180. And then not only are they getting a deduction for insufficient split, but they're also getting uneven leg separation. So you want to put your front leg up to like your hip height. And then you want to put your hands in front at shoulder height. You're going to grab here. You're going to give me 10 jump and swing your leg back. This is going to focus on the hamstring to get that leg to lift. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's show you on the mat. This is a great alternative to using the bar, but it's also really good to do it in addition to. It makes you really isolate that back hamstring muscle. Use a mat that's hip height. Really focus on keeping your arms steady because it's gonna be really hard and you'll, you'll notice the struggle and don't worry, it is difficult. I've never really seen anyone do it like look exactly perfect. So just focus on keeping your arms in one place. So you're here, you're gonna lift your back leg. One. Two, three, one, two, three. Next we're gonna hang on a bar, it could be a pit bar, single rail, uneven bar, whatever you can hang your legs without touching the floor. And we're gonna do 10 splits on each leg. This one's really hard and it's really good at making your legs, your hips even. You'll notice your hips turning out. So one, two, three, one, two, three, you can go fast switching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This next drill is gonna really help you take off of the floor and go up. That's the amplitude that the judges are looking for. So you can start with your arms in front or down, that's fine, but when you jump up, you wanna bring your arms to the side here, press your shoulders down and back, chin up. So we're just gonna swing the back leg forward and hop. One, two, three, one, two, three. For this next 
drill, you're gonna need a panel mat. I have just one panel mat over here. You're gonna do a sachet, step step, split leap onto the mat, and try to hold it in the arabesque and try to keep your back leg up, shoulders down and back, chin up, and squeeze the arms tight. onto the mat 10 times, you can jazz it up. We're gonna do two panel mats, leaping onto one, step in between, leap onto the second one. If you wanna get fancy, you can step and do a wolf hop off of the mat 10 times. Ten times, and then we're gonna do a more advanced version. We're gonna do a sachet, step step, switch leap onto the first panel mat, step leap onto the second panel mat, step side leap off of the mat, land on one leg, spin around and finish. Two more switch leap drills to show you, and then we're gonna move on to some shallow jump drills. So you're gonna start on the floor. Same like before, you're gonna swing the back leg up, but then you're gonna to try to actually switch legs and do your leap out of it. Finish. You can try to step out, you can try to land together. I like to use the arms in front with the leg swing, and then open it up. Otherwise the arms are gonna get crazy. So practice up, and then you open it with the other leg coming up. This drill is gonna take all of your switch leaps, whether it's a switch side, just a regular switch leap, switch ring, switch half, to the next level. So you're gonna stand on the panel mat, you're gonna swing one leg off the side, lift off, and go into your leap. We'll start with the switch leap. And finish. 10 times, then we can turn it to a switch side. Finally, you can try your switch half. muscle. Don't worry if it's not perfect the first time. You might want to try to step into it and then jump. We're going to shadow jump onto the mat. You want to make sure that your feet land together. Otherwise, it's a one-time deduction. Now we're going to go on to some tour jeté progressions. You want to be on a straight line. It could be on the floor. You want to get fancy, you can do it on the beam. You're going to swing one leg up, and you're going to pivot your body to turn and face the opposite direction, like this. You want to make sure your arms swing up. When you turn, open them to the side. So 10 times on each leg. jump. You're going to lift the leg and as you turn you're just going to lift off the floor. The reason why I have you on the 
line so that your back leg is always over the line. You don't want your back leg to come out to the side. Make sure the back leg, whether it's forward or back, it's always over the line. That's how you keep your hips square for the jump. Now we're gonna do the same thing, and before you land after the hop, you're gonna switch your legs. Don't change the direction of your back leg. Take your tortillas up to a mat. You're gonna have either chalk or tape, and you're gonna create a little box here. Box on the floor. You're gonna have your starting foot in the box, and then your finishing foot in the box on top of the mat. The final progression for the Tour Jeté is once you have it on the floor and you're looking good, you're feeling like you're getting a lot of height, you can do it off of the panel mat, Tour Jeté, try to hit the 180 split, and right before you land, add a half turn. So that concludes this series of my leap drills. Hopefully you enjoyed them. I know some of them can be kind of hard, but don't worry, just keep practicing. Give it all you got and you'll be leaping perfect in no time. <laughs>